And um, I want to tell you why. Uh, almost 15 years ago, I hired a mechanical engineer guy named Frank DeLuccio. You may have heard of him. And um, when here at Lakeshore Community Church, when anybody, anybody becomes a pastor, if they are not already licensed, like, for instance, Brian Pulowski was already licensed, we license them. So we license Pastor Frank, Pastor Will, Pastor Corey, Pastor Brian was already licensed, and I, I came to this church already ordained. And then we do this process. Now, remember, Frank was licensed 15 years ago, and we say, uh, but two or three years after your license, we'd like you to be ordained. Uh, did I say that Frank was working here 15 years? Yeah. So we all love to know Frank, that he's never ready, he's never perfect enough, but we said, you have until the end of June for it to be perfect. It worked. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Pastor Frank and Laura DeLuccio and their children, if they will, and then also our ordination council, and I'm excited to see a couple of really good friends here. Um, our ordination council consisted of uh, myself, all the other elders and elder candidates, and, uh, and uh, Pastor George, come on up, buddy. Um, I have uh, one of my really dear um, friends in ministry, just recently retired from First Bible Baptist Church, George Grace, just a tremendous friend, tremendous man of God. Of course, my buddy, my buddy and the uh, Pastor Grace is in the um, light blue shirt, I think, with the, um, the sleeveless sweater. And then Pastor Brian Rathbun from Crossbridge Community Church. He's one of the great pastors, one of my, also one of my dear friends as part of the council, Pastor Brian. Uh, we had Gary Schroeder, our district executive. And again, all of our others. We had Dan Astuto from Greece Assembly of God. Dan couldn't make it. And, um, and then Pastor Pat Medeiros couldn't make it because he was on vacation. And then so we're going to ask all of our council and all of our pastors to come up on stage. And here's what we're presenting, Pastor Frank. And I'll, I'll read this to you, and then I'm going to offer a prayer of ordination here. It says, this certifies that on June 3rd, 2017, at Lakeshore Community Church, Frank G. DeLuccio, with the space between the D and the Lucio. You got to have that. <laughs> don't, don't put, if you put them together, you're doomed. <laughs> I don't do the space, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it is. <laughs> was, or, was ordained as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We the undersigned, and that was everybody but the pastors, because um, the pastors were licensed, so they weren't part of the council. We the undersigned certified that after having a sufficient opportunity to observe his ministry and having examined his faith in Jesus Christ, his call to ministry and his biblical doctrine, solemnly and publicly set apart and ordain him to the work of the gospel ministry by authority and order of Lakeshore Community Church. And now I could really give this to you. So, Pastor Frank, here is your ordination certificate. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you so much, Frank. Thank you. Yeah, let's, give, let's praise God. Let's, we're praising God, but let's do it for Pastor Frank. Before I pray, I just want to briefly say this. I, it will be 15 years in July. I cannot tell you. You know, we, we bust on each other. That's how we survive this thing called ministry. But <laughs> for 15 years, I can't begin to tell you what a man of integrity, what a godly man. He's my buddy. If I want something done, he's like part of my goon squad. Him, Pavone, and Britt. I just go get him. Go, go, go take care of him. Wow. <laughs> I know Pastor George had his hit squad. That's all I did. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm probably the only. I should just shut up. Uh, but Pastor Frank, I just hope you know what a gift he has been to this church for 15 years. First as our creative arts pastor, and now as our very first and excellent executive pastor. He's a tremendous, trem I mean, what a gift this church. I, I know you know this, but I want to reaffirm again what a tremendous gift he is. And of course, the only reason he's great is because of Laura. That's a fact. That's, that's a fact. And then there are beautiful children, Martina and Maisie. And uh, thank you for letting Daddy be a pastor. And uh, we're honored. I don't think you had much of a choice, but thank you. <laughs> so here's what I want us to do while we're standing. And um, I want us to pray a prayer of ordination blessing. So I'm going to... 
gather around Frank, and again, thank you, Pastor George, Brian, all of our elders and staff. We're going to gather around, and Pastor Dan Asuto, who couldn't be here. We're going to gather around, I'm going to pray a prayer of blessing. So if you can just agree with me in your own heart. Father, thank you so much for Pastor Frank. What a gift of a man. Thank you for sovereignly bringing him to Rochester, uh, having our paths crossed a bunch of years ago, uh, giving me the courage to ask him to leave his career and become a pastor. And uh, boy, I made some stupid decisions, but that's the kind of decision that makes me look smart. Thank you. Thank you for this tremendous man of God. What a privilege it is. And we ordain him now, Father. Actually, we do not ordain him. You have ordained him. We have simply recognized it. And we acknowledge that you have ordained this godly man for the gospel ministry. And so now, together with my great friends and, and fellow staff and elders and great pastors from other churches in this community, we commit him to you, to the gospel ministry. We, or, we recognize your ordination of him. And we ask that you not only continue the work that you started in him 15 years ago, continue the great work we've seen, but just as importantly as anything else, help him to keep going strong and to finish well as a man of God. Bless the work of his hands. Bless his ministry, everything he touches. May it bring glory and honor to you and help to other people. Thank you for the privilege of letting us, this humble group of men and people here, just to humbly say, we are a part of a process to ordain a man of God. We're humbled by it. So thank you, Lord. Bless the family of Frank. Laura, bring blessing to her as Frank's beautiful spouse and the beautiful children that you've given them. And I, or, I pl pray your blessing and ordination on him in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit, and in their name we pray. Amen. 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 Congratulations. Amen. Thank, thank you. Guys. Thank you. And thank you to everybody here. Thank you for, um, thank you for the opportunity to, to be a pastor here. And uh, it's, this is the church we love dearly. And uh, I, I thank all the, the, the fine gentlemen behind me. It was very intimidating. These guys forgot more than I'll ever know. <laughs> and uh, it was really, um, it's an honor to have these guys speak into my life. And... Uh, and to be a part of that ordination. So thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. You guys can go ahead and take a seat as we're going to wrap up real quick. And uh, for the three and a half years that I've been here, Frank has just been such an amazing uh, friend and an amazing mentor. And as I'm kind of filling those shoes that he served in so faithfully for so many years, so it's been awesome. So thank you, Frank. Congratulations. So as we're, uh, as we're wrapping up, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Brian Pulaski. I'm the creative arts pastor here. And uh, if you prayed that prayer earlier with Pastor Vince, that's the most important decision that you can ever make in your entire life. We, we say this every single week, and the reason that we say this every single week is because we believe that, that this is the most important thing that you can ever decide to do, is to make a faith commitment to Jesus Christ, to follow him. And, but